Today I'm going to be trying out and using 100 yen art supplies from basically Japan's version of a dollar store. 100 yen is 89 cents in US dollars, so that's pretty cheap. Of course we gotta start off with, that's right, watercolor. They actually sell these individual watercolor tubes in all sorts of colors in Japan for a dollar. And it's actually by the brand Sakura. So you know, like Sakura Micron pins. They have a lot of different, I guess, lines of products there and it's really cool. So all of these colors, very excited to swatch them. Next up, I did have to get a palette to put my watercolors in. So this is a really cool plastic palette that it only has 12 slots and I do have 14 colors. So we're gonna have to improvise, but that's okay. You can hold it. It's pretty neat pretty excited. Obviously we had to get some brushes and I gotta say right away I can already tell that these brushes are much much higher quality than the dollar store here. Now I know that these are a dollar each whereas the dollar store in North America I think it was a dollar 25 for five brushes. The bristles were falling out as I painted with them. They also sell water brushes for a dollar. These are brushes where you put water inside the barrel and you can use them. So I don't really need this and I don't like to use these unless I travel, but I was curious to see about the quality. Now this is something I was really excited to find. We have a little spuit and bottle. So what you do is you fill this for traveling with water so that you have water with you. And then you use this little guy to like pick up water and then you can move it around. Let me show you something. I've been using this. I use this actually a lot when I do my watercolors. This is a medical thing that I got for my cats to feed them medicine. And I use it for my watercolors. So I pick up some water and then put it in my palette and then I mix up the watercolors. So I was really excited to find an actual official art thing for that. Even though it was a dollar. I'm excited to try it. And last but not least, we have a pen and white pencil. I thought it would be good to have some sort of highlighter and there was no white pen that I could find. Again, this is by the brand Sakura. So I'm pretty, pretty curious about the quality of a dollar. And the pen, I have no idea if this is waterproof. So I'm a little scared. Again, it is Sakura brand, so that's so interesting. Yeah, I don't know if this is waterproof. I can't read, so. Yeah, there's our pin. All right, now that we have all of our art supplies, I am ready to swatch and try these things. I'm pretty dang excited. I'm just so curious to see if the quality is going to be any good or if it's going to be total garbage. I mean, it is a dollar. Hey, here's a poll. Do you think this is going to be a good time or a garbage bad time? I cannot tell you guys enough how much I love swatching things. So I've got my little chart here. I've got my watercolors and a little space down here to test some things like the pen and the water brush and the white colored pencil. So here we go. I'm very excited. So right away with the red alone, I can tell that they're going to be very, very bright and very pigmented. So that's pretty nice. And it's looking like the pen is waterproof, which is crazy. I don't know where you can buy a $1 waterproof pen in North America. Something else I've noticed, uh, the brushes aren't falling the frick apart like the dollar store brushes in North America were. Ooh, I really like this dark blue. It's like the most um, least toxic color so far. All of these colors are very bright and just like vibrant. This purple is the reason why I say I hate purple. It's just so toxic and just, oof, I don't like it. So obviously they are going to be a little chalky because they are $1 watercolors, but honestly, these don't look amazing, but it seems like for a dollar, they ain't bad, especially compared to what you can get here. I just want you guys to see the tip of this pin that we are working with here. It's kind of like the plastic nib or just some sort of little felted tip. Look at the variety and width you can get from this one pin too, I love that. Okay, it doesn't look like the white color pencil wants to do anything on the pen or the watercolor. I do want to test out the water brush, so let's see what we're working with. Let's use the light green, yellow green. I love how waterproof this pen is. My mind is a little bit blown. 
Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like I have more control with this water brush than the Pintel ones. But I wanted to test out um, gradients because one huge thing about cheap watercolors is that they are almost near impossible to get a decent gradient because they're so clumpy and just chalky. But honestly, that is a good gradient. And I'm still impressed with that colored pencil situation. Okay, I am so anxious to create a full piece with these 100 yen art supplies, so let's get into it. Let's create some art. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I am using my own watercolor paper because the store only had sketch pads, they didn't even have canvas, and I wasn't trying to paint on sketching paper. So this is solely a watercolor test and pencil and pen and brush and stuff, paper not included. As I have said a hundred times in this video already, I was so excited to try these watercolors because I'm just so interested to see the quality of Japanese dollar store brands compared to North American ones because as I've said a hundred times, it seems like North America doesn't really care about quality as much as Japan does. Yes, I know it's one dollar supplies, but you don't have to sell a pack of five brushes for a dollar. You can sell one brush for a dollar. Do you really need five brushes? Ones that are falling apart as you use them? Personally, I would rather pay a dollar and actually get something that works than throw my dollar away. Just me, I don't know. Obviously these brushes aren't perfect brushes because again they are only one dollar but honestly I was really impressed with the way they worked. They aren't quite as firm as I would like them to be and they don't really hold as much water as a good brush does but a dollar? A dollar for each of these brushes? I think they work so good and if you guys were in Japan I would highly recommend you picking some up. It's just unfortunate that I just don't know where to find brushes like this in North America. Maybe Walmart. I've never actually tried Walmart art supplies. I've only tried the dollar store and then stuff in art stores, which as we all know, aren't cheap. But dang Japan, I think you're onto something here. Like I said, the water brush also worked really well. The pin, holy cow, is waterproof. I can't believe that it is indeed 100% waterproof. It works just like my Sakura Micron pins. I don't know if it's the same exact thing, same exact formula, but that they've put it into a cheaper plastic case. I really don't know how Japan works, can't read the package, don't know what's happening, but I'm really impressed that for a dollar, this is what you get. I love the little water fillable things. I will definitely be using those in the future. And the palette works great. For a dollar, you can get a palette. I don't know where you guys shop for your art supplies, but here in Canada, you can't just walk into an art store and get a $1 plastic palette. You just can't. Honestly, kind of wish I picked up a few of these for like a giveaway or something. Regrets, but you know what? I'll probably be going back to Japan. All I know is that you can get some dang quality stuff for a dollar in Japan and I definitely should have stocked up for a giveaway because I really want to share this stuff with you guys. Okay, 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 okay. So let's just talk about the watercolors because wow, they were pretty dang good. Obviously they were a little chalky as I said before because they are only a dollar, but if you want to get into watercolor, I just hate to see people use those crappy cakes from the dollar store or even the cheaper ones from the craft store and have bad experiences with watercolor where they're just chalky and clumpy. They don't work. Work, they get frustrated and they quit watercolor because they think that's the way it works. Look, apparently I feel very passionate about this and it just makes me really sad, you know? I know you gotta do what you gotta do with what you got, but I also want you guys to like watercolors. So there are a few tests I wanted to do with these watercolors to see how they worked. As I mentioned before, doing a gradient is a really good way to find out if watercolors are good because if they are clumpy and gross, it's near impossible to get a good gradient. But I did feel really confident with using these. They were a little chalky, it was a little hard, but as I worked with them, I got to know how to use them. And if you just kind of worked with them a little bit, you could get a good gradient. And I do think I got some really good gradients with this. They're vibrant, they water down well, they mix well. These are a really good starter watercolor for anybody. And if you live in Japan, I would definitely suggest them. I even used the white colored pencil as a sort of masking fluid. I didn't know you could do that. I discovered it. I had a lot of fun with it. Something I played around with. That was nifty. Though the one thing I will say about cheaper watercolors and these do not get away with is that because they are chalky that means they are kind of thick. So when you put them over your line art it really takes over your line art. It's like putting chalk over line art so it's definitely going to show. So in the end I did have to go over all of my line work and re-black it because you could see the watercolor on top of it. This is something I did struggle with when I used cheaper watercolors when I got into them with the Artist Loft. I would always put the watercolor down first and then ink second because I didn't want to have to reapply my inks but that's definitely something you don't have to deal with as much when you work with more quality materials. 
But as a beginner, for $1, I would definitely say that's worth the struggle. finished watercolor of this Ampharos Pokemon. I'm just so excited to see how good these watercolors worked for only 100 yen. Let me remind you, that's only 89 US cents. I did also want to test out how the darker colors worked. I think a lot of the darker colors usually end up really chalky. So I did this little whooper and it turned out really good. The dark colors aren't nearly as chalky as I expected them to be. They worked really well. Overall, pretty dang happy with that. And again, not a bad gradient for cheap watercolors. And another dark test just to see how they worked, a Chikorita. And I did a lot of the pencil masking on this one and it turned out really cute. So yeah, I love these little guys. They turned out really good. So happy to use these watercolors for only a dollar a tube. Worked really well. I'm very impressed, can you tell? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye. Bye.